What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. We're looking good in the pre-market. We're over 17 at 17.15. We're up 29 cents right now and that's a 1.72 percent increase. But the chart and the price of AMC, that wasn't the first thing I noticed when I woke up. When I opened my phone, I woke up to this. The SEC Chair Gary Gensler accused in Citadel market maker manipulation. And I said, what the fuck? <laughs> this is getting good now. And it says that he's accused of shorting crypto focused stocks like AMC Theaters and GameStop through Vanguard Group and BlackRock and faces a change.org petition. Now, when I first read that, and while I'm brushing my teeth, I'm thinking about this. And I said, I didn't want to put my dog in this fight. Lou had already made a video concerning it, so I didn't want to come out with a video that was kind of like his. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Because people get mad about that. So I left my dog out that fight, but then I wake up and I see this fucking man's face on my phone first thing in the morning trust me it wasn't good so I said alright I'll put my dog in the fight let's talk about this shit because I got emails and I got Twitter DMs and I got all kind of shit concerning Gary Gensler and a statement that I had made that he's not short AMC but we'll get to that in a minute just know that I got a lot of shit behind saying that and I had decided I was just going to leave it alone. <laughs> so, but I can't because it's back in front of me. Bullshit with Gigi's money overseas. Uh, I was just going to put it to you in a certain way. Who gives a fuck? Do you even know who you're fucking with at that point? At this point with your little messages and that you're putting out there? Let me tell you something. You are motherfuckers. You are touching around the man that has the power to turn this fucking whole thing off. How fucking stupid are you that after everything we've been through because of somebody's YouTube video, you want to turn around and start playing Johnny fucking detective? It's fucking stupid that on the eve of us fucking having the greatest fucking run ever, you guys want to spend your time talking about gives us money. So I went over here to Google and I Googled the Crypto Times so I could find out who they were. You got to find out if your source is reliable. And I get over here to Crypto Times and I see that Fly Private in a PC 12, uh, Kim Kardashian. You get down here and you get a little bit of news. Uh, crypto Times is a news and media organization focused on the cryptocurrency and blockchain industry. The firm is enthusiastically dedicated to bring forward crypto news, trends, and in-depth research of digital assets and technology to the niche crypto, whatever the hell that word is. All right. So I'm like, okay. All right. What all these buttons... They didn't have an about me, but Google gave it to me. So I said, okay, let's go over here to their about page and find out what they're about. And it says here that their story is, there has never been a period in human history where the planet has witnessed changes so dramatic and swift. It's a pretty good sentence. As a copywriter, <laughs> I know. With the patchy march of globalization walking along the corridor, we steadfastly have an adherent belief in Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and the metaverse. Whoever writing this is a pretty damn good writer. But, I still, who are they? Nobody knows. Well, after I determined that the source is on shaky ground I go ahead and then I read the article you know I gotta find out you have to you just don't read people people go to reddit and report about a reddit post that could be made by anybody but anyway I could not verify that crypto times was a 
legitimate upstanding thing. This could be a spoof. But anyway, we go down. Well, I don't even have to go down. I want to talk about this. He's accused of shorting crypto-focused stocks like AMC, Theaters, and GameStop. The first thing you need to ask yourself right now is, who is accusing him? Right? We want to get the who, the what, the where, the when, the whys. And he's accused in Citadel market maker manipulation. Who accused him? We'll get to that in a second. The next thing that makes me go, and I told the people that's written me emails, and I told people who's wrote me DMs, he cannot be short AMC. If his portfolio is parked at Vanguard Group or BlackRock, but it's supposed to be in Vanguard, then he's long AMC people. In fact, you could call Gary Gensler a diamond fucking hand. Why? Because he's held his AMC shares throughout this whole thing. How do you know he's got AMC shares? Because he's with Vanguard, and Vanguard has more shares of AMC than anybody on the planet. So, if my money was with Vanguard, and they were controlling my portfolio, there's a pretty good chance that I'd have AMC in it. Now, BlackRock. BlackRock is not shorting AMC. Their hustle in this game right now has been to get the shares and then loan them out and get the interest from the loan. They're not short AMC. I challenge anybody to show me where BlackRock or Vanguard is short AMC because we can't find it. <laughs> so, then we go on down to, do you see now you can read this thing? He's accused by who? What's he accused of? Mark uh, being short AMC. Okay. Who's, he, who's his portfolio with? Only the two largest organizations that hold AMC. So right there is thrown out. And then he faces a change.org petition. Again, you can go to change.org and you could start a petition about how the teacher should let your dogs, St. Bernard, sit with him through class because he's been with him since he was a puppy. You can go to change.org and start that petition. Anybody can start a petition. But I thought it was pretty interesting. Who starts this petition? The who's is so important, people. Who started this change.org petition that has accused Gary Gensler in Citadel market maker manipulation. So see, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Somebody accused him of this, and now somebody has started a change.org petition. Wonder who that is. Well, I went to change.org and I found out. Y'all ready for the bomb? And I found fire Gary Gensler as SEC chairman for obstruction of justice. 20,919 people have signed this petition to fire Gary Gensler. Why? For obstruction of justice, and like we just seen, for shorting AMC, for market manipulation. Son of a bitch. But who starts the petition? Al from fucking Boston. So in one hand, we got this one saying, leave Gary alone. And on this hand, we got the other one pulling that says, let's fire this motherfucker. Is it a setup? I mean, after all, this one did holler, Al, come help me. And now here's Al saying, let's petition and start a fire and get things going with Gary Gensler being fired. And over here, this one's going, y'all are the stupidest motherfuckers in the world. So which is right? Well, I can give you my perspective. Leave Gary Gensler alone. He is an ally in this fight. And in case you forgot, let me remind you what the SEC chairman before Gary Gensler said. 
And so the question is, how do you create accountability when over the past few years, it's almost as though the SEC, they haven't given up, but they've acquiesced to the way of, we're not going to really send too much to the DOJ. We're just going to see if we can collect a few fines, continue along our way and, and go along to get along. John, I want to say something else, which Please. is the regulated entities, they have lawyers, good ones. And if you go outside the box, they'll sue you and win. One of the things I tried to do, now your episode's about the stock market, right? It's about payment right. for order flow. It's about the exchanges being for-profit businesses when it's not how they started. That's right. So we tried to make some rules about that. And a couple of days after we announced them, op-ed in the Wall Street Journal from the chief executive officer of the New York Stock Exchange, why we're suing the SEC. Why were they suing the SEC? <laughs> because we wanted to make some changes to the transparency, um, uh, and the governance of exactly the issues you were discussing on the show. Right. So we decided we wanted to make some changes. We made those changes into a rule and they took us to court and beat us. And I got to say, John, um, whatever you want to say about the SEC, when they go outside those lines, the regulated finance industry has really good lawyers. And by the way, not for nothing, but some of their lawyers used to work at the SEC. <laughs> and Many of them. Absolutely. And these guys go into court um, and and they often are able to keep the SEC from doing its job. I think it's a huge problem. I love watching John Stewart. So, in the interview with the former SEC commissioner, the SEC commissioner admits that I tried to do my job, but at every turn they would sue and they would win because they had the money. The money of trillions of fucking dollars. So, I look at that and I go, look at the struggle we've been in with these people for over a year. Gary Gensler's probably, and the rest of the SECs behind him probably thinking, they think they in a fight now. You know, we've been in this fight forever fighting the one percenters. So, as far as do I believe Gary Gensler is short AMC and GME? No. His portfolio is controlled by Vanguard and BlackRock. And the person who has accused him of this is out from Boston. Love y'all. Be blessed. Oh, one more thing. If you really wanted to think outside the box and if you really wanted to come up with a solution, Gary, call Vanguard and tell them recall your shares. You say y'all want to fight them? You say you want to get in this fight? Here's how you get in. You tell Vanguard to recall their shares. You're fixing to do an investigation over there. With that, I'll let y'all go and start thinking outside the box, people. <laughs> Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in another video.